Hi, this is Francisco Pijan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about uh, breakups for men and the topic for this video is uh, how to trust women again. If you are in the breakup zone and uh, you realize that uh, your ex-girlfriend or wife, for instance, cheated on you or was really nasty, decided to break up in the moment where you were maybe proposing to her, you know, um, when this happens, you need to reveal trust. Uh, you don't need to rebuild it straight away, right? You can be in this breakup zone for a week or even a month, I, as I describe in this uh, uh, program, in this breakup system. But uh, sooner or later, if you want to start dating again, you will need to rebuild the trust, not only in yourself, but in women as well. And realize that what happened with this woman does not define the way all women are, okay? If an ex-girlfriend cheat on you or did something really nasty that you... Uh, you don't think was fair at all, you can uh, start rebuilding trust by simply realizing that there are certain actions, behaviors, attitudes that belong to that woman that you have been dating or to who you have been married, okay? It doesn't belong to female kind as a whole. And uh, yeah, human beings sometimes do things which are stupid, sometimes they make mistakes, sometimes they do certain things. It doesn't mean that all human beings have to be categorized within a certain, you know, with certain levels. And uh, it's important that you rebuild trust with women and eventually start dating again if it's something that you think you would, uh, you would enjoy, of course. Um, now, how do you rebuild trust after, you know, after, um, after something maybe nasty happening with, uh, with a certain woman? Well, the first thing to do is to, uh, to uh, realize that maybe in the set of events, there was a moment where you opened up, where something happened where you were extremely vulnerable. For instance, you started maybe trusting her too soon, maybe you were not aware of certain aspects of her personality and you opened up and you gave yourself to the relationship before there was a clear sign that it was really secure. Okay, this can happen. Uh, so you can actually design a way of standing in relationships in the future which is going to give you a new edge of power. And for instance, um, you know, suppose that you enter into a relationship and you start becoming um, financially dependent on your girlfriend. Suppose that you have uh, two sources of income, right? You, it's yours and your girlfriend's one, and then eventually you give up your job because uh, you decide to take care of the kids, the growing kids. You become a, a stay-at-home uh, dad. That's a possibility. Suppose that you took that road, right? You took that direction. Then eventually you end up being financially dependent on her. It means that she is the one who brings in the money and this takes away a big part of the power that you would have otherwise. Uh, the f when you have a certain level of financial freedom, this of course gives you a power, it gives you independence. So if this is for instance the situation you were trapped in, what it would mean for future relationships, it is don't give up your career. Okay, that would be the strategy, the key strategic change. Uh, it means that when you faced a certain challenge or you faced um, you know something that, uh, that yeah something that might have been very challenging in your past relationship when you engage in uh, in a new relationship you want to design a new set of behaviors attitudes actions so that you make yourself less vulnerable for the kind of things that happened in the past so a uh, negative experience is an occasion to grow, it's an occasion to learn something new from relationships and how to stand in them in the future. So suppose that, what, well, suppose that uh, eventually she uh, cheated on you, suppose that something happened along that line, well, did you see any warning signs? Do you know why she cheated on you? Uh, maybe she got bored within the relationship she was in with you and eventually decided to, to, um, to go in and sleep with somebody else. Maybe she gave you warning signs. Maybe she said things like, you know, our relationship is not as exciting anymore. Why do you work so much? How is it that we don't have any romantic time together? These kind of things. Very often women will give you warning signs and uh, it is very important to, to listen to what she has to say so that you can make effective changes. Now, I'm not saying that you have to forgive her, you know, you, you can be, uh, you know, pissed angry with whatever she did, that's fine. Um, but the whole idea of trusting uh, women again has to do with healing, you know, really solving whatever unsolved business uh, is, is there with her. If there is something you have to tell her, just get it out of, uh, out of your chest and tell her. And, um, 
and at the same time realize that the actions that she took don't define humankind as a whole. These are the choices that she made as an individual. It's not choices that all women will make in the same situation. Okay, remember that. Take care and bye-bye.